We are in Mysore. We are actually conducting a proof of concept study for a tele ICU module. We are working with the Care Hospital, which is affiliated with the Mysore Medical College, with the Dean of the Mysore Medical College and the Superintendent of the Hospital, the Care Hospital. We have created a 10 bed ICU ward at the Care Hospital, which will take care of COVID patients. We have also created such 10 bed ICUs in various Taluka hospitals around Mysore, smaller Taluka hospitals. But unfortunately, because there is an acute shortage of specialists like intensivists, pulmonologists, anesthetists, and so on in these smaller Taluka hospitals. Even if we deliver high quality equipment for the 10 bed ICU project, we are not able to, you know, deliver high quality care for the severe COVID patients. So in order to supplant for the sh acute shortage of specialists, we are cre creating a tele ICU hub a command and control center at the care hospital in order to take care of these smaller taluka hospitals on an online basis so we're creating a tele icu command and control center which has computer monitors uh, with large tv monitors connected to the internet that can online connect with the taluka hospitals of nanjangur hd kote santemaran halli Viraj Pet and Madavalli and help the patients over there who are in the ICU through this online access between care hospital and these smaller Taliba hospitals. Karmna Trust is very much involved in uh, IT in primary health care, information technology. The wonderful opportunity came from Srikant when he told about his idea of uh, having 10 bedded ICUs all over the country. We were excited because we also do a lot of things with the public-private partnership with the government, uh, uh, state governments. We first conceived it at the district hospital, then we found that in place like Karnataka, we need to do it at even Taluka level also. So mostly Karnataka, we are doing Taluka level. Overall, I feel it's a wonderful program, which, uh, timely for the entire country and uh, reaching the very nook and corners of uh, India, very remote areas. This is the heritage building. This is the main building of the care hospital. And this is affiliated to the Mysore Medical College, which is on the other side of the road. And this is the OPD block. And we are setting up the tele-ICU over there. The tele-ICU hub, as well as one of the tele-ICU, I mean, ICU wards we are going to take over and manage. So this, this is the room identified by our mm. hospital superintendent, Dr. Ranjan Swami. And we have the engineer also, Mr. Srinivas. He has come and uh, he is going, the engineer is going to set up the uh, false ceiling and other, uh, is going to take care of the floor and so on. We are going to set up a tele-ICU hub in care hospital in this room. Uh, we have used open standards to be able to integrate with uh, a wide variety of cameras, uh, any of which uh, are follow the prescribed open standards can be integrated with the system. And on top of this, we are also integrating five para monitors, which would allow uh, the remote specialists to have a very crisp idea of what is going on with the patient uh, sitting in the remote uh, ICU in a rural environment. Definitely, we are looking forward uh, the once the program projects uh, flagged off, we are very much eager to see the impact on the. Definitely, I am 100% sure. I am 100% definitely. I can say that this project is going to a good uh, deliver the good healthcare system, beneficial to all the people, irrespective of the patients. Not only patients, even for the uh, doctors also. It's a mutual learning. So that, that will help in controlling the disease spread, controlling the disease complications and uh, making everyone uh, uh, healthier day by day.